help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment with another information. And this is coming from the core enemies of Biafra, that is the Nigerian army. Yes, they couldn't hide it again. They said they have lost so many people, so many people. That is why they are trying to fight the whole camps together. You know, they are not trying to just go to Iheala or Kiwi. They want to, you know, invade Biafra camps. It is not an easy thing for them to do because there is a hand of a wonderful God in Biafra struggle, making us and keeping us ahead of our enemies. And that is the mystery. They are saying these people that are not trained, how is it that we are having casualties and they are not having many or much? <laughs> that question is God that will answer it for you. Of course, when you are too inquisitive, we send you to Chukwokikabiyama to go and receive the answer that you want. Because when you stand up from your land and you are going to be afraid land to go and kill, know you well that you will not go scot-free. You will be quiet as well. So I want you to listen to one of our brothers who I say have privileged information uh, from Nigerian army what they are saying and what they truly want to do all right okay let's listen to him now the nigerian army tried to evade uh, uh, the headquarters of the biafran army in anambara state yes my people this is the latest i see the hot right now uh, the nigerian army have tried my people i feel like at this particular point uh, they waiting they happen we say the nigerian army they try uh, come back to waiting uh, they try uh, get back at the B B bla for every single thing they've been going at them for years because recently i feel like uh, they've been trying to come back at the Nigerian, uh, at the Biafra army, at the BLA, for every single thing they've been doing to them, uh, uh, for the losses they've had. And uh, we know that recently their commander came out and said that, yes, they've been having a lot of losses and uh, they've been having a lot of issues, but they are not going to give up. They are not going to give up on the fact that they will always try. Uh, they will not stop fighting, rather, they will keep fighting. And at this particular point, we've heard as they've tried to invade other um, other posts in the in the in the in the Biafra Army and other states, and right now they just try to invade uh, the the Anambra states, um, Anambra state headquarters where the BLA people are are based. And at this particular point, this is what happened here. Uh, it, it, of course, it did not go as smoothly as they expected it to, as the the BLA were ready for them, as the BLA are always ready for them at at any point in time, and of course. It was a failed attempt that did not end up uh, giving the kind of fruit they expected it to give. And so my people now so ego they hot anytime, any day, uh, as the Biafra Liberation Army have settled to get around and get a new set of uh, resources as they've always read because of the rate at which uh, nowadays the Nigerian army have decided to come at them. And at this particular point, uh, the, the Nigerian army themselves, I think, uh, what they are trying to do is to come from all sides, trying to hit from all sides in all states at the same time. Okay, my people, but there, now so you go to be, this is the cost of what we have decided to put our heads into. This is the cost of what we have intentionally said we are going to go into for ourselves and for our nation. Generally, it is for Ndibo in general. And uh, this particular movement that have reached this extent should be known to every single person that the, the giving up was never an option. And giving up is not an option for anybody in this particular state at this point. And so at this point, we are here to pull regards and to let people know that uh, the the movement has not ended as the PM he recently also made a big announcement concerning this whole issue and uh, talked about the 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 said in quote as they had earlier said they talked about the um, earlier one uh, 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 tried to uh, talk about how many they had taken down in one of the uh, places in one of the Biafran states earlier on, which was a fallacy, which was not true, which was clearly false, and uh, the PM, the RGIE.
Simon Eba came out and uh, made a statement concerning his renouncing and saying that uh, none of that was actually true, which is the truth about it, and exposed a whole lot of things at that point. And so it still brings us to the fact that these people are trying to also use every single way they can to discredit anything that happens with the, even with the Biafran state, the Biafran army and the, the Nigerian army, every single thing. They are using the news, they are using everything they can use that is within their power to find ways to discredit anything or discredit the Biafran army, using propaganda to put against uh, the to put against um, the the PM, BRGIE, to put against every single thing. And on top of that, you see half people that are going against everything we've held there. We still have the, the IPOB DOS that have, uh, that have actually done a huge lot of betrayals uh, that uh, people have uh, been heartbroken about. And also, we know that some people expected it from them because that is what they're, that's the only thing they've been good for ever since. They've never been... Um, They've never been people that would uh, 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 do the right thing as it is. And uh, people, even though people were very, very discouraged and disheartened by this type of thing, people that are expected to support the cause of their friends, people that are expected to support the cause of every single thing that we've had there, is it that they do not understand? Okay, I would say that they, they have, would have put their selfish reasons, their selfish... Uh, 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 um, I would say they are selfish and drivers above any other persons. And that is the reason why they do not care about anything that concerns uh, Ndibu. Uh, my people, what I'm trying to let people know now is that this same set of people have not, have not uh, done anything that would, that would be so glaring or so good that uh, this set of things should be done in the right way. I feel it is very, very bad that this is the extent it has reached. This is, we've come to that particular time where this whole thing has uh, escalated to this extent. And that Igbo leaders, uh, Igbo leaders, Igbo politicians, even Hanes and Dibo, we cannot, cannot even clearly be trusted. How uh, you cannot trust your own people to do the right, to do right by you. You cannot trust a fellow Igbo person, my people, that is why we even lost MNK in Kenya. Because of this set of people, I hope DOS and uh, maybe got information, and I don't know the whole history that comes up with it that turned up the whole betrayal limit of everything that caused why we lost Ohamadike Ndibo, uh, Namdekano. And at this particular point, we still look at it and we think of why why we find ourselves in such states, why we find ourselves in such in such bad states. My feeling, in fact, I would call it a bad state because it is not what we would expect to happen. Why would we find ourselves in such in such in such states? But then, what can we say? We can only decide to do better and do what is right, and then do what we have enshrined in our passion to go for. And that is why the BLA is not going down. We have a. Uh, of course, we have videos of them saying that they are not going to back down on anything they've ensured. Uh, hey, my people, these are the things that uh, we expect from people that are truly f working, working for the movement and have believed right from time that uh, anything that is not BLA, anything that is not on the release of Madden and the Khan, anything that is not on the release of... Uh, anything that is not on the release of Madden and the Khan, anything that is not on the release of... Um, of of we ourselves as Ntibo out from this God forsaking zoo nation, then it is not it, and that is the only thing we'd want, of course. And that is what they, they've been informed that they, you see, let's not go it out of their ocean. My people, this is uh, this is these are the things that are helping and uh, spoiling a whole lot of things for we be our friends. But then the work is something that we've decided to go on on our own, and we will not stop. We will not relent on any level because, of course, relenting has never been any other thing. We are doing this for ourselves. We are doing it for the lives that have been lost in the course to, in the course to be better and every single. You know the Karela VLA is here in every particular, in every state, ready to go against these people. No matter what they've decided to put up against uh, the, 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 the Biafra Liberation Army. No, nothing of such would hold the 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 Biafran Liberation Army down, no matter the kind of things they send, will always be reinforced with more people, with more soldiers. Adding up that we are we are we now have foreign alliances that will help our cause, and of course, for a foreign alliance to be able to help our cause, to help what we ourselves are 
claiming that we want, which we truly want, they need to be able to see that we ourselves are able to fight for what we want. And until that note, until we are able to show that we are able to fight, when it comes out and it's the time comes for us to show ourselves and say, yes, this is what we want, when we've given them that heat to the extent that they do not and they cannot relent, they cannot reject anymore, and then they come out and they say these are the signs that these people have been crying and have been saying that they want. That is the aim of all these things that is happening. It is not, we are not doing these things just because we feel like we are doing it because we want a whole lot of evidence to show that we have been saying this and we have been doing this. And these people have been fighting us and we've been fighting back, we've not relented. To show that we really want the release of Mazen and Kano and we really also want to we we want to be on our own and that is the main thing we've had in our mind so. all right thank you brotherly we have heard you loud and clear yes the same thing we are all saying that we're not backing down biafra is a must